Now to go over that concept of spacing one more time, I'm gonna go to file and open in this demo, down to chapter three and folder 16 using spacing guides. So obviously we have a little menu page here. There we go. And I've got a bunch of menu items that I wanna put in here. So what I'm gonna do is select everything I'm gonna to go to Window Menu, Object and Layout, and Align. And I'm gonna align them right down their centers like that, okay? Now I got a huge mess because they're not really sitting evenly spaced. So what I can do, if I wanted to do this by hand, I can select all these and get them out of the way and then start doing these one by one. So I'll put that right about there. Now I've got the green arrows underneath. These are all three are evenly spaced. And I'll just keep doing these. Those are spaced, evenly spaced, evenly spaced. And this is the way you do it manually by using these spacing guides. And I just keep looking for those little green arrows down below. So now I've quickly used my spacing guides to line these up. But let's say now that I've done that, I wish this entire line started on the left and spread all the way across to the right. Well, remember I have smart spacing, so I can go to the bottom left, press and hold. Now I hold my space bar and just move them across. I've evenly distributed the amount of spacing between all of those. Quick way to clean up your layouts. Took no time at all. Command D for a document. I go down to number uh, 16. I can select all of these, open all of them. And I don't wanna start with item number 10. I'm gonna hit the left arrow key. Notice how I can scroll or toggle through my images. I believe it starts with number seven, but let me count my numbers down here. Uh, yeah, number seven. So I'll hit the right arrow or the left arrow. I wanted to start at the beginning. So as I've loaded images to place onto a page, I can toggle through those images with my arrow keys, the right arrow or the left arrow. So now I can start in order, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, I don't know if that's 13A, let me hit the right arrow, 13A, B, C, ah, there you go, 13. Okay, now I'll hit the left arrow, come back to 13A, then 13B, then 13C, then 14, and 15. Hit W, got a nice little string of menu items, if they're getting a little too far pushed apart, select them all, press and hold on the bottom right corner for a second, and now I hold the space bar and I'll just push them closer together. But again, notice how they all kind of flop around here. So after I start to push, I'm gonna hold shift and we'll keep them all in a straight line right here. So I like that. Okay, if I press and hold again, Hold the space bar, I can push them in even more. But if I hold shift, it's gonna kinda toggle that and kinda ruin my movement here. So I might just go out and get as close as I can there. There we go. Okay, select them, press and hold, hold space bar and pull them back apart. And that's using spacing guides for your layouts.